Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all well. Um, feeling better. Again, I guess give you just another spicy cough update. I'm almost there. I'm still coughing, but I have my energy back. So today, um, I've got a couple of other videos that I had planned, but I kind of stuffed them all up. So here we are. We're going to do some reverse clear stages because um, I haven't done any of these in a while. Uh, I do have a few more videos coming in terms of account reviews and... Uh, ultimate guides for dogs and things like that so stick around I promise they're coming um i just got a lot going on at work at the moment as well but yeah so we're basically uh, if you guys are keeping up with these we finished stage one uh or season one sorry should i say which is really cool so we've done all three styles on all of them um so basically if you guys don't know what this series is i basically just go in uh show you guys how to just basically clear these nice and quickly right so I'll show you like what heroes I use, what levels you kind of want to be, what the, strat what the strategy is far for it, uh, etc, etc. So um, we'll jump in and do that again. We'll jump onto season two of the kind of the Pleiades of Edge of Sky and the Holy Knights and all these kind of ones, the Weird Fangs, so the, <clears throat> the season two of the reverse stages. Um, so yeah, I think what we'll probably do is I might start with Weird Fangs and then maybe go to other heroes if we, because there's not, there's not too many in this one. So this one's pretty straightforward. So... Uh, we'll start obviously with um, this one. This is pretty straightforward, right? Because they're all the required heroes. You have to have them in a certain order. Um, there's no other way around it. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm actually going to give uh, Tamil Link to Ruin because he's the one that's got. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> my uh, my cough, man. Uh, he's the one that's got uh, the most. Like he's the, the attribute advantage disadvantage, so he's going to take the most damage, I would say. Uh, and then we're just going to start pumping full of, again, high dupes, right, as always. Um, pretty straightforward. We can end up just giving everyone, uh, kind of, you know what, I might actually, what's the damage this, I think I'm actually going to give just this guy just a myel boost, uh, just for the grace. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, just because I think it's it's potentially going to help. I don't think there's going to be, I'm going to bother trying to crit with any of these guys because all their crit chance sucks um but i suppose it's going to be good just to actually have them in because he's now six six so it could be worse so we're going to do this this is going to be our setup i want to wait clear without anyone dying clear within eight turns and clear with a combat class higher right so uh these guys are all level 80 uh fully awakened so it shouldn't be too bad in terms of how hard this is um <coughs> pretty confident we can we can get stuck in and do this so first things first i'm going to do uh, actually i didn't check if any of them have like a debuff revives and then no debuff okay so i'm just going to debuff them first decrease all their attack and then i'll go for uh poison as well <coughs> so just try and basically just make their life a bit of a bit of an hour really to be honest um Cool. So I think I might do some, some merging here and get some ults nice and quickly. Um, which would be sweet. Okay, so they are going after Frasia. That's interesting. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. Um, no buffs, there's no buffs. And then... It's a buff. So I think I just... I just... I'll just and I'll do that. I'll do that. Try and get ults as fast as possible from them all. Get rid of at least one of their attacks. And this way I can do it on... I think we'll be doing that on Dreyfus. Right. Um, there we go, and there's the... So yeah, we kill... Let me just make sure, basically, right? And I'm going to lower their attack again as well. I remember doing Ruin in the Tower Trials, and he's just the worst. Absolutely the worst. I probably didn't need to do that, actually, because he's stunned. That was pretty silly. That's okay. That's okay. Probably going to attack the other guy, but... And I think what we're going to be able to do here is... Oh, I was going to say we attack Disabled, but there's literally no point. Um, we'll do... That. That. <coughs> Alright, so we poison him. Pretty chill, and then I think hopefully we should be able to finish him off here with... Um, 
Jude? Yeah, Jude's Holy Relic, I think. Jude's Holy Relic. Jude's ultimate move. Jude's ultimate move. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do... I'm actually just going to do this, and then I'm going to increase the damage he takes by 30%, and then I'm going to ult, and that should be... That should be enough. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Not even close. Okay, we attack disabled, so that's good. So he can't, he can't do any attacking or anything. Um, oh, he's gonna attack anyway. It's a bit rude. Um, okay, and then I think I'll just do that. In that. When I first started playing this game, I thought uh, I thought uh, Frasier or whatever was so good because she had like a increased damage and then she had like a poison, um, and I just thought it was like the one of the best heroes. Like I used to combine her with like Arthur, uh, Green Arthur, and be like, yeah, I'm just like one tapping and wiping teams and. Yeah, it was, it was interesting, because <laughs> I used to use that to excuse me, increase the damage, right? So I used to increase the damage with her, and then I used to decrease the damage, and then, uh, sorry, use Arthur's passive as well, right, to just kill. So that was always, that was always fun. All right, one of everything, so... <coughs> far out, excuse me. Um, and then one of everything, so I think we'll just give it to Frasier, because it looks like they seem to like attacking Frasier. And then I'll give Sario a link to him, and then I'll give my old link to him. So we're just going to basically use links that give us full, uh, like, well, just graces, right? Basically, I want graces on my heroes, because the links are going to make a little bit of difference, but it's going to make more of a difference if I have graces, I think, anyway. Uh, so I'm going to pretty much start the same way I started last time, with just all the debuffs. Uh, which is actually really helpful because then I actually have a weak point card with Sario Link. So I'm hoping that does a decent amount of damage. I might do double weak point. Yeah, I might do two weak point attacks. But it is... It is, uh... What's his name? What's the invisible? What's his name? Oh, Golgius? Golgius, maybe? I think it's Golgius. Let's have a look. That's going to annoy me otherwise. Hold on. I, I gotta check. I gotta check. <coughs> Yeah, Golgius, okay. So we're just going to do double weak point attacks, and then I'm going to go after him. Huge. <laughs> I'm like a 40k. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, um, what's this one? Spiked crit damage increase, okay. Ooh. Cheeky, 120%. So that'll be a 360% attack on all enemies. Alright, I'm going to increase their damage taken again, I'm going to do that, and then I will hopefully finish off the blue guy. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I kind of want like a builder team around the weak point thing, I don't know, it's so, it's so stupid, like it's, it's way better if you use, um, <coughs> obviously like Brunhild, right? Red Brunhild, winning Brunhild, but... Just not, I don't know, just not quite as fun, I don't know. Um, that should be, that should be, yeah, should be GG. Nice, easy, easy. It was all in the, all in the gold, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, alright. So that was nice and easy. We'll kick on and we'll do the next slot. So hopefully you guys, like I said, it's pretty much to the point where if you guys, as long as you're investing uh, in those heroes, just a little bit, like, just smack the mic into my face. Um, so as long as you're investing in these heroes a little bit, you should be fine. Ah, oh, okay, cool. So we're going to use Twigo and Alioni. Did I give him his Holy Relic yet? Oh, I haven't. Can I make it? Ah, oh, I need more of those. Damn. Otherwise I would. Otherwise I would have made it. Um, I got Twigo's Holy Relic, so that's, that's good. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna do... Sario Link, and then... Maya Link. I don't really... Think I need Tamiya Link. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Who are we taking on? Gil Thunder? What's this? He recovers when not surviving an ultimate move, revives... Steals one orb. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. 
Fuego and Elioni, the goats of... I was about to say Overwatch then. I've been playing... You can see my Overwatch sign in my background, I think, yeah. I'm playing a bit of Overwatch recently, so... No. Twigo and Elioni, the goats of Grand Cross. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to yeet some attacks at him. Merge this counter card, because we should have a taunt from Twigo's Holy Relic anyway. Ah, okay, so this should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, Twigo told you, Twigo's the goat. The goat. Uh, no, that was, that was an awful rendition, wasn't it? There you go, yeah. Alright, I should be able to... Oh, he's got his ult already. Alright, see how it is. Uh, do that. Is he still going to get his ult? Yeah, he's still going to have his ult. Okay. So we should be able to survive this. I hope. Red on red, surely. Yeah, okay, does nothing. Okay, good. Good. Limeza. Alright. Then we're just going to do... don't even think we need alts, to be honest, but... I'm, I'm pretty confident you guys will have a, a decently built Twigo if you've been playing the game for a while, because obviously he's the human team, right? So, um... Like mine's the way he was. I should have stopped and seen the way he was walking there. That was crazy. He was like, "Yeah, I've got this." Um, all right, cool. And Kane and Taizu. So these guys are only level sixty each. So I don't know how this is gonna go. If I'm honest with you guys, I feel like the other ones. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll just walk through it." But uh, this one might be a little bit harder. I have been telling you guys that this is all you need. So, who knows? You might be might be fine. Okay, blue. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Alright. So, the goal is just to basically keep Taizu alive, because he's at a type disadvantage here, and then just try and kill as quickly as I can with Kane, I think. Um, let me have a look. What's there? attack skills. Okay, so we should be fine here. So I think I'm going to... Let's do that. And let's do... I'm hoping I can just push alt here. Gets a couple of ignites on both, on all of them. And then... Just wipe. But that might be a push. Gets only Kane's ult, right? So this might be a bit tough. Yeah, time your link, good, reflect. Ooh, that hurt a little bit more than I expected it to. That's okay. Um, okay, I mean, that's all melees, but that's fine. I'm just going to stack ignites on, on her, get rid of her buffs. Now she's got five. Cool, give me another... Oh, I didn't get a single ignite card. Uh, I was hoping to... Should have, should have at least given one to Melly, so he copped a little bit. Oh, he should hope maybe he might be disabled here, actually. Yeah, perfect. That's actually, so now he does, now he is disabled, so that's nice. Uh, and then we got Max. 250% defense from our boy Taizu. I think we should be fine here. Yep. Yep, yep, we should be good. Oh, full counter. I should have paid attention to that. <laughs> I love the flex. Just the most muscular. Fantastic. Okay. This should actually do a fair chunk of damage, I think. I kind of just want to see... Do you reckon this is going to kill? I want to give an ignite to see how much damage this does. Oh, damn. I was hoping to use a Taizu ult to finish it. I just wanted to get an ignite. A little bit extra damage. Nice and easy. Uh, so basically, level 60, fully awakened, as always, should pretty much be enough to get you guys through it. Um, and yeah, that's I think that's the first that's the first two stages of this. So we'll keep going, as always. Um, lots of stages to do, which is nice. Um, and like I said, I will have some other stuff coming out soon for you guys. Uh, but appreciate your patience. So thanks for tuning in. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.